Hi everyone, my name is Paul and this is the second video on how to draw a house in AutoCAD. In the first video we learned how to draw, do a few basic things, setting up our units and, and all that fun stuff, drawing a few lines, and we drew the exterior walls. Today we're going to start do, doing a, a few more things and draw things a bit in a bit different way, or continue on with what we've learned so far. Um, the first thing I want to do is uh, start drawing some interior walls on this. So whenever you have interior walls, I don't, I don't usually redraw, th I, I don't redraw things, I draw it once and then, and then start offsetting. So when I teach you, I'm going to teach you how to, how to offset a wall, uh, or get a, get a wall located where I want it to be. So in my uh, master bedroom area here, I'm going to see that the first distance that I want is going to be uh, 5 foot 6. I'm just going to offset a wall 5 foot 6. And this can be any any house you're doing. My interior walls are 3.5, so I'll offset that wall 3.5. There we go. My next... Uh, my next uh, distance I want to offset is going to be from this line. I'm going to offset that 5 foot 11. There's that. And I know that wall is going to be 3.5 inches wide. That's the width of a 2 by 4. Uh, the next wall I want, I, I don't need all these wall widths. Whenever I dimension, I always dimension to the left of a wall, to here, to here, and to the outside. So I'm going to go from this line right here again. This next wall is going to be 3 foot 3.5. Three so I'm going to offset 3 foot 3.5. And I'll set that, then I'll set this 3.5, that's three and a half inch wall. The final one I want is four foot three, so I'll set four foot 3.5. You can't do three and a half as a fraction, you have to do 0.5. I'm going to offset that three and a half inches. So these are all the walls going in this direction in this bedroom location. The first wall that I want to offset this direction to is going to be 11 foot six, so I'll offset 11 foot six. Oopsie. Undo that, offset 11 foot 6. There you go, and now that's going to be a 3.5 inch wall, so offset 3.5. This is going to be uh, the, the door leading into my bedroom, so I'm going to. I know I have the drawing in front of me, and I can provide this drawing to you as well. I know that the walls that I need are those ones there, so I just did a bunch of trimming there. I just hit TR for trim, used the window, trimmed off what I didn't need. Next thing I want is uh, 2 foot 3.5, offset 2 foot 3.5 and then offset that again 3.5 this time all the dimensions are going to the left so I know my wall is going to be on this side I can extend that I hit EX for extend I want to extend two there hit enter and then I'll, I'll just be able to extend that all the way up um, these are some walls that I know that I want I also know I want these walls so I'm going to extend that up so it goes up to as far as I would like this is looking pretty good so far. It's looking like what I need. I know I don't need these walls, so I just do a window trim and trim up all that. All the fun stuff. I also don't need this anymore. That's going to be my stair location. So what, I've, what I'm creating here so far is a little bedroom down here with a closet in it. And then uh, a few other things as well. This is going to be a location of a door, and this is going to be a closet right here. So I'll extend those lines up to there, and then trim them off. I don't need them anymore. Sometimes I'm left with lines, I can't trim those, so I just have to erase them. Use E for erase. Erase those lines. I'm going to teach you a few more things here today. I'll teach you how to draw a door. Um, the, the way I normally draw a door, you can draw it simple or a little bit a little bit more interesting. I always draw it with the jams. So I go up and use the rectangle command, then I, I select 1, um, comma, 3.5. So now it's going to be a, now it's going to be a three and a half inch wall, and it's going to have a one inch jam on it. Um, I also want to draw the door swing itself. The door is going to be two foot six, so I'm going to use the rectangle command, pull it off to the distance of the one comma two foot six, and this is going to be my actual door. So that, that that's the physical door that I move and then when I want to open a door. Um, I want to connect these two things. I'm going to use the move command. The move command is right here, and I'm going to move it. I'm going to go select it, and then hit enter, and then I'll say specify a base point. So the base point is a corner that I can select, and I can go snap onto another corner. So I know when I do this, I want to put that corner right there. So this is the start of making my door. Um, I also want to, uh, I don't want to redraw things. So I'm going to take that jam right there. I'm going to copy it. So I'm going to copy it in the window like this. Hit enter. Specify a base point. I'm just pulling it a distance. I don't need to specify a base point this time. I can click anywhere I want in the black screen. I'm going to type in 2 foot 6. That dimension actually isn't correct, but I'm going to show you in a second why it's not correct. The last thing I do to make this door is I need to use the circle command. The circle is right here. So I, I select the circle, go down onto that base point, and then pull it in a certain direction. Well, I know the radius of this door is going to be 2 foot 6. 
there's my radius two foot six. Well, this jam is on the inside of the door because I only moved it two foot six. I need to move it another inch. And hit enter. Oopsie. I guess I need to do a left click. Hit M for move. When I use the window in this direction, when I use it like this, from top left to bottom right, it's blue. That's different than going in this direction. When I do this, it selects everything that it, that the, that the dashed line touches. When I do it like this, it only selects what's inside that box. So I can left click here and then hit enter. Specify a base point. I'll pull this thing off in this direction. Hit one. And then I hit enter. And now I have my jam. The way I can finish this door up is to trim it. Hit TR for trim. And I want to trim at there and at there. Hit enter. And stuff I want to trim away is that. Really get rid of that. There's my beautiful door. What a fabulous door. The way I draw windows is um, the windows have window jams as well, but windows are in exterior walls, not in interior walls. So in that case, it's going to be a, a six inch uh, jam or frame essentially on a, on a window. So this time I can go one comma six, and that's how big I want to make my window. If I'm going to make a five foot window, I'll just copy this other jam over. Since I know it's one inch thick, I want to make a five foot window, I'll copy it at five foot one. There's my window. Now I can use lines to make these windows. I want to make take a line like that and just draw it once. And now I can just copy it. Instead of drawing it again, I'll copy, select the line, hit enter, go in, select the base point, select the base point. That's great. When I set up my O snaps, I um, I set them up so that it actually would select a midpoint. So I'm going to put this line here in the center of that window. I'm going to copy that, put it right on the midpoint, and that can be sort of the center line of my window. But I'm going to use double pane glass. So when I'm looking at a window, this is the wall below, and this is the wall below. This is the actual glass. So I'm going to offset it half an inch up, half an inch down, erase that center line. And now this is my actual double pane glass window. And then these are my frames on the outside. That's my window. Um, so I've drawn a door and I've drawn a window. Um, now I can do a few things with these. So this is a five foot window. Well, if I want to make a four foot window, I can just copy it. Copy it up here, straight up. And I can use the stretch command. So here's the stretch command. I think stretch is S or ST. Let me see what it is. Yeah, it's just S. Um, so I guess the stretch command is up there. Apparently when I'm making the video, it's not showing my arrow. So I'll just hover over the stretch there. And I go from top right to bottom left. It's going to... Uh, this is interesting because what the stretch command will do is it'll move that jam on the inside of this box, but it'll stretch the part of the, of the object that it's touching. So if I go like this and then and then select objects, I hit enter, specify a base point. Again, whenever I just move it a distance, and here I'm going to move it a foot to make it a foot smaller, I can just make specify that base point anywhere I want. Now I just hit 12 and then move it 12 inches. Now I have a four foot window. So I'll measure that. There's my four footer. Oh, four foot two. Well, I guess I made my first window too large. I'm going to stretch that two inches smaller. Stretch this two inches smaller. Make sure that's five feet and four feet. I always double check my work. There's a five footer and a four footer. I guess the first time I did it, I was wrong. Uh, and copy this. I want to make a three footer now. And then I stretch, hit S and enter. Stretch the foot. Make sure it's straight. One, two. There. Three foot window, four foot window, five foot window. Same time, I can do the same thing with my doors, but if I stretch this door, because I want to make a two eight door, it'll stretch that arc. So the thing that I would do is I want to make a 2-8 door here, so I'll offset the arc, offset it to, and I'll erase that original arc. Go in here and stretch this, stretch that door out two inches, and then move that jam two. Now I've got a 2-8 door. The silly thing is I didn't copy it. So now I have I don't have my 2-6 anymore, so I'll just undo all I'm not gonna undo, but I'm gonna offset the same two inches in. Erase the original, stretch it down, hit the S, there's two, and move that jam back two inches. Now I've got my 2-6 door and my 2-8 door. Um, when I'm putting doors in, sometimes I want to rotate them. I definitely want to move them around, but I also want to rotate them. So I'm going to copy this, I'm going to copy, copy it up. Sometimes I want my doors to be mirrored. Hit MI for mirror. I want them mirrored on that point right there. Hit enter. Erase those two jams. Now I have a double door. All I did was I hit MI for mirror. Select the object. Select the base point. Base point will be right there. Pull it up and it'll 
it'll snap to a vertical line. I'm going to hit enter. It'll say, do you want to delete the source object? I'm going to hit no, because I, I did not want to. And again, I can just erase that. Um, I'm going to undo that. I want to keep that 2-6 door. You can also rotate them, so I copy it again. And if I want to rotate these doors, I can just use the rotate command, which is right here. Or I can type in RO for rotate. Select any base point, start hovering around. Now it's rotated that many degrees. That's about all I'll show you for today. Um, I think we've covered lots. This is everything that I've covered up until day two of my class at SAIT. So if you're online, you should be all caught up. I'll make a video three next time and show you how to do a few more things. Hope you enjoy them. Leave me comments if you like. Peace.